Quark assessment, question one. Let's have a look. Um, so step two, vector quantities. Any uh, quantities with size and direction are going to do. So I'm going to go with velocity. That has a size and a direction. Um, and I'll put acceleration. I could have something like displacement. I could have force. As long as it has a direction, um, a physical direction, that's fine. Two scalar quantities, anything without direction. I'm going to go for energy. I could have something like speed, uh, distance. I could have mass. I could have temperature. Anything with no relevant physical direction is fine. So this helicopter is moving horizontally through still air. The lift force is labeled A. Um, name the two forces B and C that also act. So B is it's moving horizontally. So B is going to be a drag force. Um, in particular, it's going to be air resistance. And C acting downwards. You've got to be a little bit careful here. C is the weight of the helicopter. Bearing in mind that gravity is not a force. Gravity causes a force. The name of the force is weight. Okay. Um, Vectors are arranged in a triangle in figure 1b over here. Um, Stay and explain how that shows that the helicopter is moving at a constant velocity. So this is a closed triangle. If I start from here, I go up A, across B, um, down C, I'm back to where I started. Uh, that implies that these forces are balanced. So closed triangle implies forces are balanced or forces are in equilibrium. Um, and therefore zero resultant. Which because of Newton's first uh, implies a constant velocity or zero acceleration. Two marks for this question, so I would guess that that is for the uh, saying that the closed triangle implies that the forces are balanced, um, and the second mark for saying therefore there is no resultant force or uh, that the balanced forces imply a constant velocity. Um, so we're given the size of the lift force, 9.5 kilonewtons. Um, it acts at 74 degrees. Calculate the weight of the helicopter. If we go back to the triangle, we can see that the vertical component of A must be the same size as C. So this is the vertical component of A, um, and it's given by A multiplied by the sine of 74. That has to be equal in size to C because the helicopter is flying horizontally. So A times sine 74 must equal W. Um, 9.5, these are kilonewtons, times 10 to the 3 times sine 74. Um, plug that into the calculator and I get that that is equal to uh, 9132. But give your answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. In the question, I've got two sig figs and I've got two sig figs. So I'll give my answer to two sig figs. So it comes out as 9132. Uh, whoops, not that many twos. Oh, it's not going to let me rub it out. Um, but answer to two significant figures. And that is question one. Done.